Hello boys, welcome back to the Kua. I've, I've, I've missed this, I've missed this a lot. But they haven't been putting out too many of these to do, so I haven't been able to uh, come out here. That and, you know, it's just been a while in general. So, what have we got today? Well, we've got the 2022 version of Mountain Dew Flame and Hot. Um, yeah, so, you know, I did, I did one of these before. I, had, I bought the can off of eBay, I drank it, I drank it in my room because it was too dark. Um, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it wasn't particularly great. I mean, it was, it was okay. I, you know, I, I drank it and it was like, uh. it, it wasn't really that hot either. You know, so that was kind of disappointing, all things considered. Uh, so, you know, uh, mom spotted this, got it uh, for me. I knew about it. I saw it when I was going shopping. I saw it in cans. Uh, and thought, oh, well, there we go. I could grab one of those later. And then she just went ahead and grabbed it. So here we are. This was, you know, this probably would have taken a lot longer to get out had she not done that. But uh, yeah, we got we got this. I have a uh, I have a palate cleanser in case it's really bad. And, you know, the last one wasn't particularly good. If uh, this is bad, then uh, we've got it. So let's go ahead and get into the analysis. So we've got a we've got a really nice kind of like red orange color. That's really cool. Let's see what kind of smell kind of perforates in here. Then again, I think I think one of my uh, black ice trees, you know, over here on the mirror is still good. So you know, we'll see what kind of uh, we'll see what comes from that. It's got kind of a Mm. It's got kind of a fruit punch smell. Maybe. Hold on. Let me give. Let me give it a big whiff. <sighs> yeah, it's definitely a fruit punch smell. I mean, you could definitely smell the lime. Even though I've never had, I've never had a lime in real life. But I have an approximate idea of what it tastes and smells like due to you know beverages and candy and other such things. But. Uh, you know, let's go ahead with the taste test analysis, you know? Hmm. I mean, it doesn't have that much kick to it at all. Hmm. But, the, uh, the adage of, uh, the adage of the citrus, I would, wait, it just says citrus on here, it doesn't say lime. Huh. Well, either way, the adage of the citrus helps a lot. It basically tastes exactly the same as the iteration from the previous year. However, the citrus is really nice. Hmm. And it doesn't really, you don't really even feel the heat, like, in the mouth. It's really at the back of the throat. You know, that's where I feel it at least. You know, right on the back of the throat. Actually, it's probably right on that hydrogen burn now that I think about it. From chemistry class all those years ago. Mmm. That's, uh... I mean, hey, that, that citrus is... That, adding that citrus was a big improvement. Was, uh, you know, makes it pretty, you know, acceptable. I mean, it doesn't have much in the... It still doesn't have much in the way of flavor. So it's not... You know, it's not great, but hey, it's it's good. I like it. I like it a lot, you know. And, you know, as is customary, I will now go into the rambling section of the video while, we, uh, while I kind of uh, formulate the, fi the, you know, the final verdict and any other uh, analyzing comments. <sighs> oh, fuck. <clears throat> so, like I said, fucking mom was like, hey, look, I got flaming hot Mountain Dew. And I was like, okay, cool, cool. She gave me the bottle. It was all good. Mmm. You know, and then, then, you know, yesterday or this morning, I don't remember working night shift is, you know, gotten all cut, you know, screwed up my schedule in more ways than one. But, uh, you know, she's like, Hey, you want to do a comparison between room temperature and cold? It's like, no, I just need the, I just need the one bottle at room temperature. That's all I need. Hmm. And she's like, you're really, you're really being cooperative here. And it's like, what do you want? You know, I'm trying to help with the video. It's like, I don't need help with the video. The structure of the video is that I have a sample of the product at room temperature and I drink it in the car and ramble. That, that's, that is the video. That is the structure. That is the entire video. 
I sit here in the passenger seat of my car, you know, wherever I wherever I happen to be. I, most of the time, it's my driveway nowadays. I mean, back back in when I was in college, it was mostly in the parking lot of college. I sit here, I drink the Mountain Dew, I analyze it, and then I ramble while I'm thinking about the final verdict. Well, it's not complicated. I don't. I don't sit here and like. Hmm, yes. Well, now I will taste it with uh, the, uh, uh, this, this way. Now I'm going to taste it another way. So let me hold it in the sun to get it to the boiling point, so I can taste it after it's boiled. Now, I sit here with one sample of the product, and if I see fit, I get additional samples because sometimes we get some of the really good shit in here. But, you know, it, it was kind of funny. It was kind of funny. It's just, what do you want from me? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that citrus flavor. That citrus flavor is a big improvement. Hmm. That citrus, I'm going to, you know, finish this over the course of the day. But that, that citrus flavor is a really, really big improvement on this. So, uh, you know, I did review, I did review the, uh, hmm, I did, uh, review the previous, uh, video for the 2021 version of this beverage, and, you know, to basically just kind of, like, seeing my thoughts on it and whatever. I don't remember everything I record, but, uh, you know, just kind of looking over, you know, listen, listening, looking over everything. Uh, so that means that the, uh, 2022 version of, uh, Flavy Hot Mountain Dew, uh, I'm gonna say, I mean, the citrus helps but it still doesn't have a lot of flavor there. It helps. The citrus helps. It really does elevate it above its predecessor. Uh, however, that does not mean that it score that it, you know, scores majorly. Uh, it's just a six, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely better than the previous one, but it's still not, you know, great when compared to, you know, as the, especially the readily available flavors like Major Melon, Original, uh, Code Red, Livewire, Voltage, you know, all that stuff. It's just, it just doesn't compare to those. But it is, it is an acceptable beverage. I do find it to be, I do find it to be good enough that I will finish drinking this and not be angry at the fact that I have to. So, that has been the Dew Review. Until next time, boys, see ya.